Welcome to the new Service Autopilot payment screen. This is the screen you will now see when you go to Accounting and Payments. This video is to help introduce you to this page, how it works, and what actions you can take. The first time you visit the payment screen, there is not much to see. In fact, the first difference you will notice on this screen is that you do not immediately see payments. This is because you must first apply a filter in order to see any results in the table. To get started, either click the button in the middle of the page to choose a saved filter, or the link at the left of the page labeled All Saved Filters. This will take you to the list of all payment filters. The column on the left has a list of pre-built, commonly used filters, such as Payments Within 30 Days. Any custom filters you have built for yourself will be visible on the right. Either select a common filter or click Back to Payments to create your own filter view. If you'd like to create your own filter, click Add Filter. This will display a list of all possible filters you can use in your view. Add whatever combination of filters you would like and click Save to enter a name for your custom filter. After you save, you will be able to see your new custom filter on the list of all saved filters. Now that you can see some payments on this screen, you may want to make some adjustments to the table so you can see the exact information you want without having to scroll to the right to see additional columns. Hover to the left of any column to reveal a double dotted line. Click and drag on the double dotted line to move the column. You can also sort by column. Hover over the right side to see the double-sided arrow. Click the arrow to sort the column. If there are columns you would like to remove, click Edit Table. On this overlay, you will see all available columns and you can move or delete them as you need. However you edit the table, it will remain this way the next time you access this screen. One significant change to this screen is in the way you take bulk actions. You will see the filter options on the left until you select one or more payments, at which point the list options change. Be aware that if you select all on this page, then actions you take will apply to all items in the list, even if you can't see them. This page is designed with infinite scroll, so even if you can only see some results, selecting all will apply to the number at the top left of the table. Bulk options are limited on the payment screen to exporting the selected results to an Excel file on your MyDay page or deleting payments. A common action you might take from this screen is to add a new payment. To do this, click Add Payment. This will open the Add Payment overlay. Select an account that corresponds to where the payment will be applied. This will populate any open invoices on the account. Enter the amount of the payment. The payment date will default to the current date. If the account has a credit card on file, this will be the payment method. If there is no credit card on file, then the payment method will default to whatever is set at the account level. If you need to change the deposit account for this payment or designate it as a prepayment, click Show Advanced Options. Check the box next to any invoices you want to apply the payment to. Change the payment amount on the invoice level if needed. Use the memo field to enter an internal note about this payment. When you are finished, click Save Payment. One thing you will see in common about many screens in SA is that any text that is blue is a clickable link. If you click on the name of an account, you will be taken to that account. If you click on a payment date, it will open the Payment Review Overlay. This review overlay is simplified so you can see all the information relevant to the payment. The blue text on this overlay is clickable as well. Click the icon next to the account name to view the account. If the payment is allocated to any invoices, click the invoice to open the invoice review overlay. On the left side of the payment review overlay, you will see the actions you can take on this payment. Click Advanced Actions to reveal the option to delete the payment. If you need to see the history of a payment, click View All under Audit Trail. You may have noticed that you are not able to click anything that is not blue. To make changes to a payment, click Edit. This will open the Edit Payment Overlay. The Edit Payment Overlay looks very similar to when you add a new payment. You will not be able to change the account on the payment. 
If the payment method was any type of credit card, this will not be able to be modified either. Click Show Advanced Options to view the deposit account and prepayment designation. When you are finished making changes, click Save Payment. If you do not need to make any changes or to otherwise exit the overlay, click Cancel or the X in the upper right corner of the overlay. Thank you for watching this video on how to navigate the payment screen.